Keith here again, KG's Garage. I am tracking down an oil leak. Looks like it was coming from right here. This is where the VTEC valve is. This was sitting on there like this. Two bolts on bottom, one on top. I undid some of these connectors. Fuel injector connected. I tried to get this thing out of the way as much as possible. I took this bracket off. This was this holds the fuel injector rail wires on right there. The underneath here, took that off. Anyway, all to get to here. Um, you have to make sure. So once you take the bolts off, this comes off. And there's a gasket right here. Okay. I bought a little kit. It comes with both gaskets. Then there's this metal plate that was on here. And you got to pry the metal plate up. And this gasket was underneath. So it was like this. This gasket's underneath. Got to make sure you replace this gasket too. This one is actually broke when I took it off. So I'm going, I'm, I'm trying to clean everything up. I cleaned this all up. I'm going to put the new gasket in there. Just pop it in there like so. I'll make sure it's all in there. Then I'm going to put this, looks like a piece of stainless steel. This plate back in there. I'm going to pop this gasket off, clean all this up, put the new gasket on. And then put it back on, and then I'm going to clean this area up. And then eventually what I'm going to do is I want to pressure wash the heck out of the whole, whole engine compartment over here. Because there's oil all over the place. It was leaking for I don't know how long. It leaks, drops on the belt, and flings all over. Um, one problem is if you keep letting it leak, if you just drive, and no, oh, I'll just keep putting oil in it. Leaks right on the alternator and destroys the alternator. And then you have to replace the alternator. And that's a bitch because you have to take a bunch of stuff off to get the alternator out. So, anyway, uh, I just wanted a quick video. I mean, I'll, I'll come right back and I'll show you when this is on there. So, and hopefully it won't be leaking. Okay, so there's still, like, like I said, there's still a little bit of a leak. I don't know if this, if this tube, this dipstick tube, has some kind of gasket around it or something, or if it's the corner of the valve cover gasket. I did buy valve cover gaskets. I just don't have the time to do it right now. Um... So maybe it's leaking there. I don't know. It. I can't tell. I just drove it from the shop to over here, and it's a little bit of oil right there. So I need to drive it a little bit more, see if it. Uh, you know, I, I cleaned it all up to see if it's leaking. But if it's not that, you'll see another video of me doing a valve cover gasket or whatever else to, to try to get this uh, stupid uh, leak fixed. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks.